everybody! Today we're going to be doing candied orange peels, which is a great way to use up just any citrus rinds that you have, really. Uh, I brought grapefruits as well as oranges and lemon and limes, and then I have a few clementine rinds as well, so we'll test those out. But this is just a really great uh, dessert. You can dip it in chocolate, you can chop it up and put it in bread, um, and the syrup in the end ends up being great for cocktails, so let's get into it! Now, for your orange cutting, there's a technique that I looked at online. I've never actually tried it before, so we'll see if I succeed. But essentially, you cut off the top and bottom, and then you make slits on the side. As if you were cutting up pieces of an orange. But then instead of cutting up full pieces, you're just gonna try to, try to remove the peel. So let's test it out. I feel like I wish I had longer nails, but let's try it. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, that actually worked perfectly. I am very satisfied. So when you do this, just make sure to um, avoid taking on too much pith, and pith is the, the white part of your orange, and that's really just where all the bitterness is. But it's also where the nutrients is, so ooh, if you want to keep it, that's okay too. I feel like I need these in like a fancy cocktail or something, I've seen them before. Ooh, my nails match the cutting board. So it's a bit of a tedious process, but it's also kind of nice because it smells like orange blossom. Um, now I'm gonna try the same thing with the grapefruit. So cutting off both edges, cutting your slices without cutting all the way through. Here we go again. So of course, usually you would do this and then actually have a recipe to do with the grapefruit, but we're kind of reverse engineering. When you're buying your fruits, you really just want to make sure they're organic because if there's going to be any pesticides, it's definitely going to be on the rind. Um, but other than that, just pretty colors. All right, all right, let's try a lemon. All right, this I feel like might be a little bit harder. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> this is actually so weird. It feels naked. Like, it feels like I'm unclothing this lemon. I kind of feel bad. have a splinter, definitely do not do this process. Who's that uh, artist that's always like making fruits vaginas? <laughs> I'm definitely channeling her right now. All right, that's pretty much done. And then this one's gonna be kind of hard because I actually used the lime already. Um, so I think we're gonna have to try a different tactic. I feel like maybe this. Pick it all up. I actually made way more than I anticipated. Ah, it looks so beautiful. <laughs> actually, just kind of looks like compost, but beautiful compost. There we go. Full to the brim. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Ta -da. 
All right, so when you're done cutting up the rinds, then the next step is to get some water boiling. The next step is going to be just dropping the rinds in some boiling water and that's just going to remove a lot of the bitterness and uh, make it a lot softer. Next step is going to be draining the orange peels. Bum, bum, bum. So now you're going to be making your sugar syrup, which is just equal parts sugar and water. So I'm going with one cup of sugar. Oh boy. Okay, let's try that. One cup of water. And then you're just gonna wanna mix that until it's fully dissolved. All right. Now we're going to start adding your peels. So once the sugar is all dissolved and it has started to simmer, then you can start adding the peels. I am worried we didn't make enough syrup. to simmer for just around 45 minutes. So as you can see they really start to become translucent and that's a good sign. All right so it's been around 30 minutes and I like my candy a little bit bitter so I stopped it early um, but if you wanted yours to be really sweet just keep it going. Some recipes call for it to, to simmer up to an hour. Now you're gonna take them out and this is a bit labor intensive but put them on a drying rack uh, make sure to have something under the drying rack so that you're not getting candy sugar all over the place. Here we go, I think this is the grapefruit. And you want to leave these to dry for at least an hour. Ah, yeah, cute. If you're into historical cooking, there's a very entertaining man dressed in 17th century garb who teaches you how to make candied limes over an open fire. So you just don't want them to touch too much because then they'll dry kind of stuck together. But I'm afraid I don't have that much room. Okay, now after letting them sit for about an hour, you're gonna come back, put some white sugar on a plate, and then you're just gonna coat each one with a little bit of white sugar and put it back on the, what are these called, grills? <laughs> All right, and then they should be slightly sticky. So they'll take on the sugar just like that. Ah, so gorgeous. Quite satisfying if you ask me. and then you let it sit for another maybe four to six hours before putting it in a container. And then you can eat them for like a, up to a month later, which is kind of nice. And look how pretty they are. So now it's the morning after. I let them dry overnight just so that they don't stick together when you package them. But they look so beautiful. They're like little stained glass. And they taste amazing. I'd say the grapefruit and the oranges turned out the best. 
the lime I actually don't recommend, it's just a little bit too bitter. But um, altogether, it's a gorgeous gift if you just put it in a little jar like this one.